I'm really excited about this new Harissa paste that I think is easily the best product on the market. It's made here in Seattle by some great people that I'd like to introduce you to. Hello, my name is Mary, and this is my mom. We're from uh, Villa Girada, a Moroccan food company based in Seattle. So our goal was to uh, make one of the very best harissas that could possibly be made um, and be introduced to the U.S. market. So it took us about three years to come up with this recipe. We made several mistakes, a lot of frustration, um, but I think what helped us in this harissa are the ingredients. We are using uh, really, really good ingredients that source from all over the world. We just got the best of everything. We got peppers from South America and America. We got amazing olive oil from Morocco, preserved lemons from Morocco, spices from Egypt and Turkey. And the second step was to make sure we're going to have a texture that is very similar to what a household will make. So very silky, very soft, and it's easy to spread on food and to add to broths and stocks and stews. What makes the flavor of this harissa so distinctive? So the classic uh, taste profiles in harissa, you need acidity, you need spiciness, and uh, fruitiness. The Morocco, I think we have a softer version. It's not very spicy, it kind of mostly uh, focuses on uh, layers and complexity of the spices. Less hotter. So we kind of um, highlighted one of Morocco's essential ingredients, which is the preserved lemon. It's, um, it's kind of has like that umami Moroccan flavor. So we kind of um, put plenty of it in our harissa. In our family, we use tomato. So it kind of adds that zingy flavor, kind of sweet tomato flavor. I asked Mehdi's mom what she thought of his finished product. Um, première réaction. La première réaction, j'étais euh, étonnée parce que euh, toutes les saveurs, j'ai pu sentir. Il n'y avait pas que, que le piquant. We wanted, we wanted it to be a, uh, a great platform of Moroccan flavors. Harissa is a fantastic ingredient to add heat, acidity, and depth of flavor to a wide range of dishes. I asked Mehdi to make us a few, so he chose to make the classic tuna sandwich of his youth and a tomato and egg tagine. Check out the Mark's Foods blog for both recipes.